Did Shirley Temple request the Shirley Temple or mm-hmm. did they just go, oh, well, let's just make a non-alcoholic drink for- They made it for her because she unfortunately was hanging out with all the higher ups at the bar. <laughs> yeah. It was actually, there's it's uh, Bristol Farms in West Hollywood. That was an old restaurant where the Shirley Temple was created. What? Yes. Mm-hmm. So if you go into that Bristol Farms, it's not the restaurant anymore, but they have a little corner cafe with the real booths from the restaurant. Whoa. Where the Shirley Temple was created. I never knew that. Because they wanted her to be able to sit at the bar and order. That's so sad. She is like. <laughs> That's crazy. She's like five. I know Shirley Temple was like the one person where it's just like, I need, oh, she's good. Yeah, she's good. <laughs> Come a on. Very in. problematic origin. It's, oh. it's crazy. We don't have a five-year-old like that now. Yeah. That has that much. Clout I guess, or. Fame. <laughs> Clout. Clout. Yeah. Clout. I guess the Colossus of Cloud. Yeah, I'm trying to think of it. It would have been like the Olsen twins. It would have been. Yeah. Or maybe that one girl that raps the Nicki Minaj songs. Or it was Drew Barrymore. Drew Drew Barrymore went through the same stuff that Shirley Temple went through. Or that one kid that was like really good at TikTok. Jacob yeah. Tremblay? No. <laughs> Jacob Tremblay's great. Were you ever on a sitcom episode? Yeah. Weren't you on like a yeah, Chris- whole season. What? Wait, no, okay. <laughs> oh. no. But it, it was called we- David's Vlog. <laughs> you ever heard of it? <laughs> but were you, weren't you on like an episode of like Chris D'Elia's sitcom? We did it. No, like we were extra. just extras. But you're in the background. Yeah, in the background. That's so good. I mean, you barely saw us. I was supposed to go to that with you guys, but I couldn't. Or there's I was something. supposed to be in the video. I was, I was, I was going to be in the video. I was supposed to be Chris D'Elia. <laughs> Heath and I, we felt like hot. Uh, we we thought we were going to be something that day. We're like, oh, we're This we're is actors. what Hollywood's all about. This is, what, this is what it's all about. We're going to be on set, set life. Oh my God, we're going to meet the cast. Touch oh, they're, ups. They're going to love us. They're gonna, and we, we got there anybody. so professional. No, we sat right there. We couldn't say a word the whole mm-hmm. time. We're like, oh, okay. Didn't they work. shoot it live? That was the thing about the sitcom yes. is that it was shot live. That w- No, no. Th- that one we were doing wasn't one was live. live. Oh. That one wasn't live. But I know they... It, no, that, no, that was just been. a show. That was just a show. Did they dress you when you got there? Or like, did they give you like a costume or did you just show up in whatever you No, we were just wearing? showed up in whatever yeah. we were... Because it was like a restaurant scene yeah. or just like a cafe scene. So like, That's they just cool. told us kind of what to wear. That's cool though. And then you just do the, the watermelon in the background. Yeah, watermelon. Watermelon, hey, watermelon, do, watermelon, do, do watermelon, you remember elephant. the conversation that uh, we had with the person that like got us that like g- gig? That no. it was for, just it was just like guys, this is how it starts. Oh my, this is gonna be great opportunity <laughs> for you. The, you know the whole spiel, but like real, like it's funny looking back at that now and how like. But it is pretty crazy looking at big people and then seeing something later on and they, they are an extra in yeah. the background. Yes. Like, yes. Wait a minute. You know what so I just saw? Technically, it could be the start. No, we just I, no good. but here's the thing, Heath. Everybody else got paid there <laughs> for that day except for we were excited. <laughs> It's like I just watched an old episode of Punked and yes. Hillary Duff was on it and she was getting her driver's license. But the prank was that she was taking the test and the instructor got into a fight, like got road rage and got into a fight with another car. And the instructor was BJ Novak. Oh, no way. Like, Whoa, what? this is so weird. Was he a recurring he person? So Cause Dak Shepard was like Dax, on every him, episode. Yeah. I wanted to check to see, cause I was assuming he probably was like uh, reoccurring, like, yeah. maybe, like in a restaurant, whatever. But that's so crazy. Now he's like this hot shot. Like Big she time. had no idea who he was. That's, a, that's he was really so funny. young. Yeah. Th- that Justin Timberlake one though is like the yes. best punked. Episode. It's so good. Where Which one? He Justin Timberlake arrives to his house and like the IRS is there and they've seized his entire property, <laughs> all of his that. possessions, his dogs, <laughs> and Dak Shepard's there. It's just like this is property of the U.S. government now. You they, know. they said like he didn't pay his taxes or something. He's like, I have somebody that's been paying it, and they're like, Well, no, it hasn't happened. So believable so, too. Ju- Justin like, Timberlake's calling his mom. He's like, Mom, they're taking all my stuff. <laughs> they bring out a fake guitar and they like smash it, and he's just like. In tears. Look, look how young he is there too. Wow. No, they kept the clip of him cr- like crying to his. <laughs> oh mom. yeah. Damn, this they're was, ruthless. This was real TV. This yeah, was that was real. Good like stuff. that would never Raw. fly today. Imagine that That's today. Hysterical. Oh, there were so, so many good punked episodes. Really good. Oh, my favorite was like Raven Simone. She parked in a parking lot and then she went into like a building and then they pulled her parking lot away and made it a handicap space. <laughs> yes, I saw that. And then that. park it back and then they're like giving her a ticket. She's like, no, no, no. And then a family of like hand or a handicap fan <laughs> pulls up and they can't get off. <laughs> That's so good. 
I feel like they so still good. do that prank today. I feel like I always see now pranks Coy, like that. Now Koi's just did the uh, the handicap where they came on. Uh, it really is. The oh best. yes, <laughs> it's the best prank. The handi the handicaps the handicap yeah. handicap spot prank. It's did so you good. See, you just feel like such a piece of you shit. Never gets old. Do you see uh, the episode of Cart Darks that I'm on came out? <gasps> no, it did came it out. Yeah, it came out. They made me the thumbnail. No. Whoa, cool. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, can we can we watch? Can yeah, we watch? Yeah. Uh, yeah, go just go to Cart Dark's YouTube channel. While, while he's sure finding that, let's do the intro. Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, all, all right. right. <clears throat> it's Comet Town, baby. Woo! Oh my god. There's a camera there. There's a camera there. You just got caught. Ow! Oh yeah. Look at that design and heat on. Oh oh goodness, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Zane Heath Unfiltered. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. Sorry. I'm Mariah. And, and we, we just got punked. punked. Oh, nice. Very good. Um, welcome back to another Unfiltered episode. Um, thank you for still sticking with us after know. this long. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm like right in the very beginning. No, I mean, you, we could play. We just, we won't use this. You already see my defender right there. Oh, yeah. How you, do How you doing, sir? Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Here's my card. Call me. Let me go bust this guy real quick. Dude, this is crazy. And then I get, then I get involved. Hold on, just for a little bit. Wait. No cuts, no edits. Yeah. I love it. Matt, I wish you got a little bit more involved. I do, like, I, I do. Right after this, I go, just move your cart. And uh, like, I start yelling. Wait, see, I, I start, see, okay, see. hold on. Sorry if it. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just so, move it. I know, I should have got a little. Damn. That's crazy that that's happening right there. Yeah. Too. Like, that's wild. Because he travels all across America. I just couldn't believe. But yeah. that, like, seeing you in this made it just more real. Like, oh, this guy yeah. is, for, this right. is, a, this is for real. Like, this guy goes around, spends his, <laughs> seems like, out, how long is the this video? A, this full time job he's got right here. He yeah. didn't even, he doesn't cut this. Is it like, is it one shot the whole thing? I think once a moment happens that he then has busted somebody and then he goes on and then he cuts to the next one. In the comments, everyone's like, oh my God, Matt, Matt, Matt. And, and yeah. he was like the perfect, the perfect person to do it. Like yeah. he seemed like he was almost like placed there yeah. for this video. Yeah. <laughs> it was just way too good. <laughs> and then I'm curious though, because I'm like, I'm the thumbnail. Did he realize he saw the comments first? And then was like, oh, it's this kid. I'm going to make him the thumbnail, which I'm a little like, I think people see it and they look and it looks like I got busted I on it. He but he probably, he probably got people. Uh, I team. wonder, I wonder if like we talked about it, like obviously before this came out and, and people, people were like, where's the Matt episode or something. Oh, yeah. maybe, maybe. Could have been that. Yeah. Oh. He knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's smart. My big That's debut. Hysterical. You're doing a good thing. That's exactly <laughs> Exactly how I thought this was gonna play out with you. Yeah. Exactly <laughs> the selfie, sneaking the selfie in. Yeah, uh, like he just sat there for a little bit and just kind of like, uh huh. Because you're not, you're not gonna be able to experience that again. So you're like, you no, you it. just gotta sit I, and watch. I wish I just got up and was like, here, I'll do it for you since yeah, just, you're that lazy. Just, just for the video, yeah, just to make it. Because he bit more. still went away like without moving his cart back, and I wish I just went up there. But I'm just scared to interact with like those hostile kind of like people. Yeah. But yeah, that's yeah, pretty mm. cool. That is really cool. Honestly, Matt, if I like, I would have went in, shopped, and I would love my car. <laughs> right after that interaction, yeah. I would have went just for the video and without telling him. I would have just left my cart there and drove away <laughs> <laughs> and see what he does. Yeah, you got to put the cart behind the car so they can't back out. Like, you have to just put it directly behind them. Mm -hmm. Oh. Good job, Matt. Thank you. Did you get like IMD cre uh, IMDb credit for that? I don't know. Maybe I'm SAG now. Who okay, knows? Good. Is this strike still happening? I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yes, why don't, why don't people see people talk about it? I think because a lot of it they're doing it. The they're being about it. They're not just talking about <laughs> there, it. There you go, Mariah. <laughs> they just, <laughs> yeah, they just delayed Dune part two till like March. It was supposed to come out like <gasps> this. Hall. No, yeah. Dune two. Dune two, man. <laughs> We're all waiting for that. <laughs> we had a pretty wild experience that we haven't quite solved yet, but I've been dying to tell you guys this. So a few days ago. Jordan was walking out front and in the front yard was this little journal, like a little diary, like, you know, the right in the rain field yeah, notes type okay. thing. So he picks it up and he looks at it and he comes running inside. Like, guys, I just found a diary of a murderer. <gasps> and we're like, what are you talking about? He's like, it says there's bodies, there's two dead bodies. Like, and it's this what? whole journal of like wild shit. 
So I started it was, looking. It <gasps> said two dead, one alive. That was the list. Ooh. Look at this. This is Whoa, oh my hey, God. Whoa, do we need Easy gloves? With that thing. This is the page it was on. So it says suspects. We got two dead, <laughs> one alive, circled, two dead, two alive. And then it's like uh, one dead, one dead. And then we go, oh my God, like what? what are we looking at right now? And then it shows empty room. And then we're like, and there's what? A map. what is this? And then it's like hallway. And then we just keep like going through it's for these, the clue game. And there, there's, there's drawings of the rooms with like circles where bodies are. And we're like, hold on. And then it's like S a, and we're like, Oh my God, what? what are we looking at? So we're like, is this somebody's like private journal? And we're, or, or it could be like a investigate, like an investigator. So we keep, or something. we keep going through it, and then it's like you can go, you can go back, but not forward. And we're like, what huh? is this? So and we, we keep looked looking. At, we were looking at the cover of the book, and Heath knows that this is like it's, it's a, not just like a rinky dink notebook. This is a, a pretty durable, all all terrain, all weather. Yeah, it's one of those notebook. right in the rains. So yeah, you, you can't like wash it out. Like you could still, yeah. if it's wet, whatever. So we just keep going through it, and then it's like. I'm so confused as I'm looking through this and I'm like, wait, what is this? And then it's like three man footwork scan, all this stuff. And I'm like, oh my, I keep going through and I'm like, this is basically a notebook for how to like clear rooms and procedures on going into a building. If there's like suspects. SWAT team, like so kind I'm, of strategy. Yeah, so I'm like, so this the is, first page says, this is really interesting. So I keep going through and I'm like, yeah, this is, this is like how to like clear rooms. It's like a notebook on being SWAT. And then we get to the front page and it's LVMPD SWAT day four. So this what? is like SWAT guy's journal. Las Vegas Police Department, right? And it yeah. ended up in your Here? front yard? Yes. How weird. Wait, like it was on the grass? Yes. Right there in the front yard. So it had to have been tossed over. It, no, like, you know, the, the median, but the sidewalk oh. right there, as soon as you like walk out and then the road. How crazy. Bitch, so I knew, somebody fucking threw that shit. They knew we were going to talk about it. You pod. think so? That's way. No way. In the can, yard? Can I, can, may I see it? No way. He, somebody would have to throw it in the yard. That's well, like, if it, you, it, it was, dro I mean, it was right, dropped it. It was but. right after the hurricane. So I don't know if like water was like, just kind of like It running. was pretty beat up. When'd you find it? A week ago. It was right when we got back from the wedding. Like, no. Yeah. A little after. Right a couple at, days like after. A day after, yeah. Oh my God. Whoa, dude. And it has no name or nothing on there. No. No. But, but it, somebody's in deep trouble. Do they do <laughs> class? They're going to be like, okay, so let's see your notes from right, the end Yeah, of right? Day like, four notes. Oh, What'd you learn today? <laughs> yeah, like, they're like, you can bring your notes on the, for the next yeah, test. For and the that guy's going to be like, who? Oh. And I also, the first thing I Googled was, um, I just typed in police note books and that one came up that exact brand oh came so up. it's oh. official so i think that's is there an academy nearby but it's, it's, it's las, las vegas. vegas that's why we're confused it's lvpd las vegas oh. metropolitan police department yeah do you think maybe they sent las vegas a police here that's what it's that's why it's so weird that it it was out front of my house here and i can't imagine some swat guys just sitting out front it had to have been an accident. Down how how far in the yard was it? Not like my not the front yard. Like as soon as you go out my gate, you know the sidewalk. Yeah, and then there's like the strip of grass where the trees are, and then the road. Yeah, it's where just you in your that car grass on the curb. Oh, I thought you meant front yard, like your front, like your yard. Like no, not on over, my side of the over gate. Over the gate. No, that's no, why no. I was like, oh, someone threw it over the gate. That's crazy. no. That's why I said it was in the median, like right before the road. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So that's yeah. The storm probably. Weird. And that we in. thought maybe it was trash, so we looked to see if all the pages were filled, and it's not even halfway full. I think you should return it because but, but he like needs to fill us, that shit up. Us going through it and not knowing what it is at first, and you're just going page by page trying to figure it out. Yeah, it's like, like yeah. too dead. dead. That's wild. Do you think? There is do you think a name. maybe it was like a? Do you see a name on it? Yeah, I don't want to try to say that. Well, name there's a couple that. names written down there, and then it says his son. Okay. Or maybe these are like, they give them like fake scenarios and they have maybe. to take notes on it. But what if like, it's real? Who's busy? If you're on a SWAT team, who's like, hold on guys. <laughs> I need to like take notes. Well, the, 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 you know, the main investigator. Can I see that? We downloaded an app that reads Chicken Scratch. Oh, so wow. we, we were scanning the pages. We, we scanned all of them. <laughs> of course you looked that up. <laughs> Detective work. We should, have, we should have our own journal. Yeah, of course. It's so strange. I, I have a candle being made in that scent. Oh, 
Yeah, that it's Las Vegas and it ended up yeah, here. Yeah, it makes no sense. I don't get it. Wow. And you, yeah. It seems very important to be leaving on the ground. Do you think it fell out of like a car door, like a car door it opened up? Have. Yeah, it could Wait, have. Could you see on your security camera like when it was left? Maybe? No. No. Me, me on the first day, look for hands, demeanor, <laughs> waist, clothing. <laughs> What if it's just Crazy. a kid playing pretend? <laughs> like, it's just a little kid. I thought that right? too at some point, but the chicken scratch and the way it's written sounds very professional. Like, where they jot down, like, just the gist of it. Mm -hmm. There's no, like, like yeah, little words so in between. Yeah, it's an adult. Yeah, it's, some it guy, sounds like a doctor. Jordan coming up with something interesting for the podcast today. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting there just bought this. Uh, right. <laughs> he, he dipped the note bag in, like, tea bags. <laughs> The, or the, the notebook and the tea. coffee stain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two dead, one alive. It's like doesn't even make sense. Jordan has a lighter to like burn the corners. Yeah, putting lemon juice and anybody, stuff. anybody that's in the swap force that can tell us if the, what, what if this how. Just tell us a little bit about what we what, what this is. Yeah, Jordan's yeah. Like, yeah. Put, a, put a black light on it. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. We should ask the police that we know that patrols around here. Yeah, we should ask him. Maybe it's his. Hmm. Officer, you Some, know what that is? Somebody is definitely in trouble if they are looking for that. The trouble. He kind of writes like my stepdad. <gasps> mm. And the plot thickens. We figured detective at first, right? And then yeah. the top says SWAT. Do cops all have the same kind of handwriting? It's like I don't know. But it's like he, doctors. Are you like architects? Architects <laughs> all have like that architect handwriting. But he That's also kind of writes like me. Maybe it was you, Zane. Maybe it was when I blacked out. <laughs> it was a long night. <laughs> Wow. I just love playing detective when I'm drunk. Uh, cool. Pretty cool though. It's actually he's pretty really sick. Cool. Yeah. He like set up everything but didn't fill it out. Like he's he set he did the he did the right, setup. Right, right. This Dash. guy gets called to a, a, a scene the next day and he doesn't know how to clear the room because he forgot his journal. <laughs> right, that's what I'm that's exactly what I'm thinking is happening. They Not seem like class notes more than like on the job notes though. Like I feel like this is But that notebook has been through it. I want to go. That's I want to go to a coffee a shop with this, and I just want people walking by. Yeah. Uh, as I'm SWAT. writing these notes, and just to be like, "What are you doing?" There? I'm doing like, like oh, "I'm on a SWAT team." <laughs> 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 oh, I'm just writing a script for a SWAT show. <laughs> Isn't that already a show? What? There's like a SWAT show. Dallas SWAT. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. SWAT though, is yeah. it like? Do you are guys who are in SWAT? I'm curious. Look at us on this podcast. Asking questions we don't know the answers to. It's, are they like former Marines that end up in SWAT? Is it? Are you like a cop yeah, and you, you can, upgrade you can to work SWAT? Your way up to it, yeah. Okay. Um, you can't just enter into SWAT. You have to have like. There's also so many different fields too. Like if my stepdad, because he used to be an FBI agent, if he wanted to, like go into SWAT and he had the right like training and all that, I'm sure it'd be very easy for him to get there. Gotcha. He has all he has a- Now are SWAT guys kind of like firefighters where they're just waiting around for something bad to happen? Like they have to show up to a station and chill until something bad happens? Or are they like patrolling as SWAT? I would think I so. Very like on call. They have to be on I call. I think it's on call. Like, like, yeah. like, I think you can do two, two jobs. Like you can be a certain officer of whatever type deal, but you're also on the SWAT team. So when you're needed, you go, okay, I'm. it's time to SWAT. You think up. so? I, th I thought I only so. the head of like the SWAT team, like, you know, like the head, the, cap the captain of the SWAT team. I thought maybe he would have other duties, but everybody else, I think they're just like trained for combat. I just feel and like you would, you would not work at all. As a SWAT? I, but I feel like after a big sports game, like SWAT is there just in case. Like when oh, there's, yeah, when there's yeah, a lot yeah, of people after like a, sports yeah. games. A lot of just sitting around, yeah. Just to prevent just like case. if there were a riot. Did you riot. see we needed to say that? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Maligma. Mariah loves you, but go ahead. Did you see we needed um, a SWAT team at our local mall because there was a yes. suspicious object and a note that said it was a bomb. Oh wait, you're talking about the backpack that was like no, sitting no, it was at, at Glendale. It was a yeah, Glendale. It was a toilet. A toilet, a toilet. Yes. That's it crazy. Was a, it was a random toilet in the middle of Glendale Mall by the fountain sitting outside and there was a note next to it that said that it was a bomb. So they had to clear it out, call the SWAT team and there's a whole video of them clearing it which was so interesting how they did it did someone they're bring like in a circling it like it's prey and then they easily like just a big pile of shit in there i don't get how there's no footage of somebody hauling a toilet, a toilet yeah not one person saw this person bringing no in a he toilet is in arrested or yeah i think they oh that's it's gorgeous yeah it's very uh, it was just an artist it's a banksy art piece oh, oh yeah right, right. <laughs> it does look like an art piece 
Uh, yeah, I mean that's that's just it's just strange. And there's it's people that live at the mall. The, yeah. the top floor of the mall is. Oh apartments. yeah, I've always wanted to like know what those apartments look like. Probably gorgeous. I I could I would never be able to handle that. Oh, I'd be I feel down like you would there. love that. No, I'm, I wouldn't be able to handle it. Like I would be down shopping every, <laughs> day. every day. I think that's a great like spot to like get for the night if you have like if you're going for a celebrity if they're going to a red carpet and they know all their shit is like down there or like they can just easily shop at a yeah yeah or, or if you're like coming into town and you're like i'm gonna be in la for three days four days you go okay i'm gonna stay there mm -hmm. and then you're like right walking distance to everything you need a lot of mall freaks convenient. they didn't have to title it like that explosive toilet, toilet. threat <laughs> okay that's our that's literally our, what our we thumbnails. do <laughs> explosive toilet <laughs> <laughs> that is such a funny title. Bomb Squad uses drone to inspect suspicious toilet. It is crazy how much chaos you can cause by doing something random like that. Yeah. Like I could just grab a backpack, go to the middle of the mall, just set it on the floor and just run away. It, and then you just shut down the fucking uh -huh. city. It's crazy. And I'm surprised, you know what? I'm not, I'm not like encouraged. I'm just, I'm surprised we don't see more of that. Just people, cause there's people like yeah. that all the time that like don't care or want to play jokes like that and yeah. don't give a shit about they anybody else's. They just want to see the reaction. Exactly. Like I wouldn't be surprised if this person lived there and they, yeah. were just, they wanted to watch from their balcony like what yeah. they created, chaos. Easily have a drone up there just to like watch people walk it up to it and. Mm -hmm. Now I'm thinking walk. about it. If I was at the mall and saw someone walking around with that graffiti toilet, I wouldn't even look twice. I'd be like, oh, that's interesting. I'd think that they were just decorating something. Oh, I would think yeah. it was an art piece. Yeah. 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 I, would just, I wouldn't think twice. They I would, and things. I would be the one to open it, 100%. I wouldn't even <laughs> think twice. Get a like, cool. for my well, snap. Oh, right. yeah, I would sit on there. I would. 22 year old Burbank man. He looks like the kid from like Terminator 2. Or, no, uh, he, he looks, looks like so a TikToker. Young. Yeah, he does look like a TikToker. Timothy. It's a sick world, some sick people. That he jingle all the way. It's not a bomb. That was sin bad. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, DoorDash. Need fresh groceries for the week, but don't have time to go to the store? Try grocery delivery from DoorDash. You'll get everything you want delivered when you need it right to your front door. And you've trusted DoorDash to deliver your restaurant favorites. And now you can get grocery delivery that actually delivers too. With thousands of grocery stores to choose from, you'll find the best in your neighborhood and boost your local economy with each and every order. And you'll get exactly what you ordered or they'll make it right. So sit back and enjoy groceries just like you picked them yourself. Want even more value? You can save on all your grocery and restaurant favorites with a $0 delivery fee on all eligible orders with Dash Pass membership. And with easy substitutions right in the app and the best-in-class customer support, DoorDash delivers groceries exactly how you want it. So don't waste your time going to the grocery store. Order your food right from your phone, baby. Get 50% off your first DoorDash order, up to $20 value when you use code UNFILTEREDFALL at checkout. Again, that's 50% off up to a $20 minimum subtotal and $0 delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code UNFILTEREDFALL. One more time so you don't forget, that's code UNFILTEREDFALL for 50% off your first order with DoorDash. And that's a limited time offer. Terms apply. And again, thank you, DoorDash, for sponsoring this podcast. We love you so much. <laughs> it's crazy the power you have with a marker and a piece of paper, though. Because mm -hmm. you could pretty much just write, this is a bomb on anything that's just... Like bulk pickup, like people put like old toilets out on the street. Yeah. Or, I mean, you know what I mean? You could just walk up and just be like, this is a bomb. Or do it from the comfort of your own home. Like what they're doing to streamers right now. Just swatting, so swatting just, them. Why do people do that? And it's crazy how effective it is. Yeah. It's just so effective. I think it goes back to these people just want to see what they create. Like yeah. I created this chaos. Did David get swatted one time? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't mm. think so. But does every single person that makes a call like that get in trouble? And like how they, they try to track it back, but like there's things you could do to be well, like rewire anonymous. like your VPN yeah. and stuff and like just send it all in. But if it get like five if, yeah. of them telling that this location has a bomb, then That's like, we have to go. But I feel like if you're a big time streamer, I think you should like just report to the local police. Like, hey, I'm a streamer. People That's are going to say people things. That, people all. that get it done to them all the time. I'd be like, listen, it's like when we had to call every pizza shop in town because people were just calling pizza. <laughs> oh, we literally right. had to call them like, and put guys, in our address. We're never going to get a delivery pizza. Yeah. Oh. Don't deliver anything here. If we want pizza, we'll come get it. Yeah. Or, like, okay. or if, if, um, if somebody does want to deliver a pizza, they have to pay with a credit card over the phone because they kept sending pizza over and they were saying uh, it was happening. It, it was that cash. Often? Yeah, and who got stuck paying for it? But it's so messed My up broken. that these people were doing uh, yeah cash at the door. 
Like, if you're going to make a joke out of it, at least pay, pay for, for it, it and yeah. make it a joke. But, like, to waste these delivery guys' yeah. time is so messed up. Because there were so many pizzas coming yeah. that were just cash only. But, like, it got to the point where I was like... Mm -hmm. Oh, but it, I guess I could use one. It would come at the right time. We like, it, <laughs> oh, we don't need orders. Something's bound to show up. Sometimes it would come at the moment we're like, yep. ooh, ooh, a pizza sounds nice. Ding, ding. It'll come. It'll come. Just wait. Just wait. And so, I would complain <laughs> about the toppings. Yeah. The pizza would we'd come. Be, be like, we'd be picky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it would funny. be free sometimes. I'd be like, oh, they anchovies. Put, they, they put peppers on it. <laughs> Sometimes Zane and I would get so drunk that we would uh, we would order ahead of time on DoorDash to have it delivered the next day, and we would get shit. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, we did that? I don't remember doing that. I used to do it quite a bit. You would order the night before? When I was like really drunk. And you like, knew I, that I'm you... going to be like, this is going to hit in the morning. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, so how, you appreciate how do you, yourself. How do you like... You how guys, do you, you plan ahead like yourself. that when you're drunk? No, no. When I'm drunk and I'm hungry, I, I'm eating it right now. I'm not... That's crazy that you planned that out. It would it would be like <laughs> greasy shit that I know like I wouldn't want to deal with in the morning. I'd be like, I'm gonna want oh, baby. This. And you look greasy too. Mm -hmm. You sure. really you had that look. Coming out of my pores. The nipple babe. piercings, you really did it all. I can't believe you, you had the, have you had the complete piercings? care a package. Long time. Wait, you don't have them anymore? No. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I had to get like one of those uh CT scans or whatever thing oh. to take all the metal <laughs> out. They took it out. <laughs> the nipples are just <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> Uh, um, my favorite is when you had that uh, sheriff one. Yeah. I remember the sheriff one? It was oh, like a thing. Janet Jackson <laughs> kind of one. I had the thing. entire sheriff star. That oh, went, my. But it was a piercing. But it was, dude, it was this big, and the bar went straight through it. And then the other one was like a full size handcuff. <laughs> oh, my. Do your nipples like still sag from the No, the they were weight saggy. That's why I got it done. Oh, no, that's uh, just his gastro. It's not called gastro. <laughs> oh, wait, what is it? <laughs> Uh, gastric bypass is when you get your stomach. On his That's mind. related your, to like your, your intestines. Oh, what is it then? What is it? What is what is it? it? Oh, yeah. Noah Beck had it. He said it, right? It's gynecomastia. Yeah. Gyna. Sorry, it says gyno. Cut that. It says gyna. <laughs> He's got a big gyna. <laughs> <laughs> his gyna was hanging. Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, when you got your nipples pierced, did you do both at the same time or did yeah. you start with one? Okay. Well, they don't go. <laughs> you uh, have to do one then the they, other. they okay. hurt they hurt as much as they look it was the worst like, thing right? in the world. Yeah. it felt like pliers like vice grips locked on <laughs> oh it, and then a, a lighter right at the tip oh <laughs> <laughs> i can't believe people get their like genitalia pierced. that's wild to me that is they'll get their like when they get their shaft like the tip yes oh like yeah. how, how do you do how i did they'll make a thick two huh like the thick ones like a thick one huh the thick ones like as thick as like this, and they'll go all around. And I don't understand how they even have have sex. Yeah, with it on. And like just in times, there's times where it gets stuck. It gets stuck, and they gotta go to the hospital oh. because they're stuck inside them. Who Imagine having to be wheeled in <laughs> by your partner, <laughs> wheeled in to remove it. What do you even do? How do you get in there? Nine one one. What's your emergency? I'm inside my wife, and I'm, I'm stuck. stuck. <laughs> But like they have to like they have to like that's like how does a piercing place even like be qualified to do that? I would like need a doctor <laughs> to do that. that. Oh, mm -hmm. that's horrible. What have I? What's the worst thing I've ever got pierced? Your belly button. Oh yeah, I remember. That was like normal though. Is the hole still there from your belly button? I can yeah, I can see like a little. It got really infected, so I still have that scarring from the nice. from the infection. So it's a little constant reminder of how um hor just horrible I was to myself back then. Are you a keloid? Healer, a keyhole. Oh, say again. Like the keloids, you know what I'm talking about. What's a keloid? Yeah. Like when people get like piercings and then their uh, their cartilage or whatever gets really inflamed and they'll have like the big mass. No. Like some, oh, some, people, no. some people, their body reacts to like trauma like that. Like if you get your, you know, your cartilage on your ear pierced, mm -hmm. you can get like the growth because your skin just keeps well, trying to like, like it reacts like an airbag. Yeah, it keeps trying, trying to like to protect repair. You. I I think I think my body handles um. And body body stuff really well, yeah. body like shame. Uh, like tattoo tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> my body handles body shape. Tattoos, piercings. I, I'm pretty 
pretty did, good with did that. Did you hear that? It's like a new thing where people are going under anesthesia just to get their full body like tattooed or like Austin. If they want to get everything done at once or they'll have multiple tattoo artists tattooing them at the same time in different bodies. What's the fun in that? In getting I don't like your full that. body tattoo at one time. I think the process of like getting your full body tattooed is this journey, is the history. It may be, of it may, yeah. it it may be cheaper, especially if they're trying to get a lot done. I'm not, I'm not saying it's a good idea. I like the, the five different tattoo artists, that doesn't make sense to me. I want to stick with it, like the, almost the same artist yeah. mm -hmm. throughout my whole body. Cause like, yeah. but yeah, put me, yeah, put me out at that point. If I'm getting like 12 tattoos at the same time, I would like to be gone. Oh, that's the beauty in it. That's like, you want that, the reward. Oh, um, I got a call like three days ago from my landlord. He um, goes, hey, you've been such a good tenant. I'm like, thank you so much. Yeah, it's been so amazing. It's been amazing living with you. You've been so easy and we've loved the house so far, blah, 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 blah. And then he goes, um, we're selling it. I hate to do this to you, but no. there's somebody that's really, really interested in buying the house. No. And I don't want to, you know, I, I, I'm not, I don't want to like kick you out or anything. I'm like, absolutely not. Like, don't worry about it. If I was in your position and somebody really wanted to buy the house and I had renters, I would hope that the renters would kind of, work be work something with me right. and we're month to month so it's even more yeah. allowed on his end to be like asking right, of us to do this and i was like damn you've been that wanting sucks. To, you've been wanting to kind of get yeah, out yeah but like i haven't been finding any i've been haven't been able to find anything i like so i've been like now good i've been settled there like i'm like yeah. you know it's month yeah. to month i'm gonna stay here as long as we can we like it so far whatever and this guy seems very interested in my house he's seeing it wednesday Oh, oh my gosh. Just mess shit up. That's yeah, what I mess said. it up. Do it that one, that one house. Wait, should we all cooking. go over and yeah. just like have dinner? Yeah. <laughs> just bring the chickens. Full yeah. seance. Rue's just pissing on the table. Hey, Rue, get down from there. She's so, she's so crazy. Uh, yeah, she's like family. <laughs> this dog has pissed in every corner <laughs> of this house. There's nowhere it. where it's not pissed at. Do you think the guy who's buying it is friends with the landlord? Like he he's, made this like on the seen, side? He's seen pretty close, yeah. Yeah. Because the house is not on the market or anything. It's yeah. not even available to, yeah. And it's not like one of those houses I feel like you drive by, you're like, I have to buy that. Zane, the house like, across the street from us is for sale. What? How much? I, I can't buy a house right now. Oh, right. sorry, for rent. Um, It's cheaper than what you're paying now and it's two floors. Um, I think I did see it. And it's a really pretty online. art. Online. I wasn't a fan, but thank you. Do you ever get phone calls? Like, I guess they're spam calls of people like, hey, I'm interested in buying your house. You're like, I don't have a house. <laughs> Do you get those? No. Um, I've been getting them so much lately. No. Uh, just people who are asking to buy my property. We do. There's like, a, there's a, I get a lot of notes, like written notes at our house oh, saying that, yeah. like, just like handwritten notes saying, we're really interested in buying the property, blah, blah, blah. What? Honestly, maybe he got one of those. Interesting. Oh. Mm. Yeah. That's uh, that's kind of smart though, like a personal written letter to somebody that owns that. that like that would get me really excited if I, I like had that. a house. I might do that for my childhood home. You should do that for this house. <laughs> <laughs> like so. you guys own it. <laughs> would you really buy your childhood home? Yeah, if I could. Just out of like pure enjoyment. But would you live in it or just rent it out to people? Have my family live in there. They would, would want it back. back you, your family would want the house back. In a perfect world, yeah. Oh, yeah. I always love that one time the Kardashians, like for like, I think it was for Chris's birthday. They got their original childhood home and they went in and redecorated it exactly to how it was when they lived in it. Oh my God. When they were kids and they had like her whole like kind of birthday day or week in the house. What? That's oh, that really must've been cool. so expensive. That's like, do that? that is like, fuck you money where you're like, yeah. I want to go back yeah. to my old house, but redo it, hunt down all but the furniture and wallpaper. Like that, that's the stuff I'd be doing. Yeah. That is like the Just ultimate nostalgia. Yeah. I, ugh. Ha like having, their, it's so funny having their lifestyle and just their like the amount of accounts they probably have is just seems so stressful. But the one thing that I feel like would be so fun is just situations like that doing where you're able like to that, not yeah. worry about doing something really fun and outrageous. Whatever comes and, to mind, it can get done. Yeah, that's I think that's crazy. like yeah, definitely the most you can exciting. think of is possible. Yes. Yeah, that's what's cool. And right? it makes for good TV yeah. too. Exactly. Like, <laughs> but everything else, I don't, I don't sign me up. Like the, everything else just seems so just so yeah. stressful. I would never want a life like that. Oh, to be the Kardashians? No. Yeah, no way. No mm -hmm. way. It's too much. This is like the, per like, the like, I think what we're in right now is so perfect. I don't want to so get perfect. any bigger. <laughs> like, just... like, I love being like, ir like, like irrelevant. <laughs> like, I, we can go to like a grocery store and yeah, not- Yeah, like, you want to be low key. It's just, it's awesome. It's awesome. I'm content in our lane. Yeah, and I love like the, like sometimes we'll get looks where it's like, 
<laughs> because it's, you know it's like yeah, oh yeah. I know who they are uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not worth walking up to I'm like this is great it's amazing <laughs> before we continue we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast SeatGeek with over 28 million downloads SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app in the world baby and there are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek including concerts sports festivals and more you guys know it's concert and festival season right now. If you guys are feeling like seeing your favorite artists, we got big, big artists playing right now, like Drake, Jonas Brothers, Post Malone, 1975. We got Beyonce right mm -hmm. now. I know me and Todd just watched Taylor Swift. It was incredible. She was at the SoFi Stadium. It was like one of the greatest shows I've ever seen. The, the, the performance that she gave and everything, it was Immaculate, baby. And that's all thanks to SeatGeek because they put all the tickets across the web in one place to make sure you're getting a good deal. And each SeatGeek ticket is rated on a scale of one to 10. So look for the green dots. Green means good and red means bad. And just to make you feel even better, every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. So if you guys are looking for a good discount on your first SeatGeek tickets, you know you came to the right place. You make sure to use our code unfiltered for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. Again, that's 20 dollars off your first purchase with promo code unfiltered and make sure to click the link in the description to download the app exactly it looks like this app right here baby thank you so much SeatGeek, for sponsoring this podcast we love you so much thanks for taking care of our tickets and everybody watching uh oh david uh had his little pickleball tournament this past week that was pretty oh fun. he did yeah he really did he um of course he won <laughs> it was an intense intense game though did you did you see the game were I, you both there i, I the came time? after the battle yeah when oh. i got there it was like the finals and i'm like who's in the finals they go david and taylor i'm like taylor hudson is <laughs> <laughs> made has made it to the finals with David and they're like no it's Taylor Lautner yeah, she's just sitting in the back just yeah there was a lot of people there I did not yeah. expect it. it looked like David's birthday again there's a lot of people I didn't know anybody I didn't know that many yeah, people I didn't know like a lot pickleball. of people there is. did you did you get to meet Taylor Lautner I know you're a big fan I didn't I'm not a big fan yeah you were. I was too scared because after that shit I said on the podcast I was kind of <laughs> oh, worried oh yeah oh, I, I dude, yeah that's why you don't that. talk shit well, about people you went right up to him or something and you like got a picture with him and he was like oh yeah yeah no yeah. no no I didn't get a picture with them but he was like finally nice to meet you he definitely knows everybody yeah he definitely yeah. I, think yeah. it. I was like i didn't want to make eye contact with him and i'm it, sorry taylor lautner i just you see that's why you got to watch out who you talk about because you'll probably mm. see them Careful. two weeks uh, later well, i'm sorry taylor how lautner, long if was I that? hurt your feelings right how long was that two weeks later yeah, pretty, that's pretty, i mean that's not a surprise he, he brought it up to david that day about that that whole situation oh he did yeah, yeah i'm not surprised no he did not <laughs> <laughs> Actually, part of me, I would be in shock, but then I'd be like, "Hell yeah, he did." It bothered him that much. Uh, I heard he was really sweet, though. We didn't get to we didn't get to meet him. We came after. Sweet. Oh, he, a little shorter than I expected, but you know, Why's he did a backflip. Well, that a, was kind of cool. A, yeah, he's did a wolf. He? So. Yeah, he did a backflip on the court. It was kind of cool. Oh, I thought you were just kidding because he's a. <laughs> no, Taylor Lautner did a backflip in David's if I, backyard. If I could do a backflip with Taylor Lautner, that would be a full circle moment for me. Okay, literally. <laughs> All right, let's well, uh, well let's make it happen. <laughs> Taylor Lautner, can you come in here real quick? Can you land a backflip every single time? Yeah, you can. I'm getting old. Oh, yeah. How, at what age do you think you physically could not do a backflip like that? Who is the it'll, oldest it'll, person in the world to do a backflip? Probably when I have a kid. There has to be someone out there who's the oldest person to do a backflip. Like a, I like a back like, tug. Like, I think they're like 70. Get, get, Guinness? But 70 Guinness something. Like nobody 80 years old is up doing a fucking uh, you, backflip. You tug. never know if they're in good shape. I've the oldest person to do a backflip was 94 years oh. old. Wow. <laughs> My God is... Germany. This was back in well, they oh, were no, born no, no. in 1913, but they were 94. That had to have happened this uh, recently, right? Yeah. Wait, did they did no oh, 2012? Wait, did they record all these right? Like, they oh, he did no? a backflip into a swimming pool. Eh. Oh, that doesn't count. No, put, put means, a backflip on the ground. Wait, look at that? us trying to discredit him. Oh, it was into a pool. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> 94. If, I mean, if my 94 year old grandmother. Well, she's not 94 if I'm, yet. But. If I'm getting into a pool and swimming at 94, I'm that's honestly, unhappy. yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> not wrong there. This 86. Oh, oh, I'm oh, Granny Smith. Wow. She looks like the perfect grandmother. Damn. She, um, you type in grandmother in Google, that's what pops up. That's out. our grandmother now. Grandma about to hit that bow oh. horse. She's still competing. Oh, she's, wow. <gasps> oh, wow. That was like the uh, intro into Willy Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Do you think her friends are like, Good job, Joanna. Like you know, all her I, other friends at Walker's, <laughs> their bodies are deteriorating. She has to be the most limber, cockiest like one out of the world. Since I was little, I've genuinely 
felt in my soul. Cause I remember watching old ladies like do splits and like do handstands and stuff, nothing crazy like that. But I've seen that and I'm like, why do I feel like I just know I'm still gonna be able to do everything. I don't know why I have that feeling in me. Like, I feel like I'm still gonna be able to flip and do I th- impressive I think because things. you really enjoy it and you don't wanna lose it. So you're gonna keep yourself. Yeah. You have to start doing a backflip every day, Mariah. I- Thanks, Matt. <laughs> like, I, wanna, you know, okay, I just want to like, at least get to the point where I can be tumbling with my kids. Yeah. Like, I think that's really cool. But my aunt could do that when I was younger. She was doing like backflips with yeah, us. I, that's, yeah, I want oh, to be able what? to I want to be able to do that. I had an aunt that did backflips too, and I thought that was Oh uh, what? <laughs> really hot. <laughs> what were you about to say? <laughs> you know what to say it was like hot? Like, Why are you holding your thingy? <laughs> It was uh, ridiculous. It was ridiculous. <laughs> Ridiculously hot. <laughs> well, I, I had a dude. My third grade teacher would do cartwheels for us if we behaved, and yo, we would all get around like, hey, yo, let's go, see it. Yeah, she just made watch you, it. This adult. She made y'all think that wait, that was a that was a prize. That was a reward. Yeah, yes, Matt. it was a little. Wait, it was a bit no, much. I I get that because my with my students, their reward is seeing me do one trick a day. Okay. <laughs> they for some reason love it because they just think you're so old. <laughs> and you can't do anything because you're the one like spotting them and teaching them. But when I demonstrate, it's a reward. Like they're like, okay, I did it. Now you do your backflip. Ah. I'm like, not yet, not yet. And they wait for it. And they I also th- it. I also think with that, it's like you, when you when you set it up, like it's like something really cool too. I think it just like gets it into the brain. Like, oh, this is cool. Okay. Yes. Yeah, they're like, well, you she can it do up. it. I want to be able to do yeah. it. Yeah. D- did you guys see the teacher Who's- get... You're talking about the drunk one? Yeah. That oh. was bad. Who, uh, wit- first day of school, I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure middle yeah. school teacher, uh, got busted being drunk. Full body cam footage of the whole damn thing. Were you the student? <laughs> I, that, <laughs> trust me, that was like a big flashback to when I reported, yeah. uh, for people who don't know, uh, my Spanish teacher, I caught her drinking. And, she was drinking uh, wine. Was it every day or just one day? It was just one day. We smelt it right on her breath and we distracted her. And I thought we it was every up. day. You really, you couldn't well, drink? No, well, I don't know. It was just one day. It was so apparent we could smell it on her breath. We went behind the computer. She had this water bottle. She was like tucking away on her desk. We smelt it and it was straight up wine. And then we all went and ratted on that it. That is pretty wild. Well, what time was it? At 7.30 in the morning. Wow. That's crazy people are drinking that early. Wow. 7.30 in the morning That's on a school bad. day. And we never saw her again. And I'm um, sorry about it, but y'all, it was your tax, it was it was your tax paying dollars no, look, paying for no, that woman's I, salary. I, She's if, drunk on the job. If that was mm. if I was not getting A's. We and we and weren't I saw, and, and I, we weren't. She and was we, a shit you teacher. That's why she was drinking because she was teaching a bunch of rats. <laughs> <laughs> so this was an, oh this so this then just happened an elementary school teacher oh, in Oklahoma. No. Oh no! And she was three times the legal limit apparently. Uh, like yeah, wait, they, can we can we hear it? Oh dude, it's. It, it, the video is really long leading up to this whole thing, but it's like them asking if she's done any like medication or is she on anything and then ask her if she's had anything to drink. She denies it, denies it, denies it. So then they're like, if you do a breathalyzer right now, will you come up as zeros? If you're saying you didn't have anything to drink, she was like, well, I drank last night. And they're like, okay, then you, you're, you're fine. You wouldn't be, you know. She should have just said she, she was on medication. Yeah. That she could have. But no, worse. they went and got the cup from her classroom and they like smell it and they're like, this is well. There's wine that was been in this, and she goes, "Well, I brought that from home. It must have." <laughs> and then finally, she ends up doing the breathalyzer test, and it was like I think it was like almost three times the legal limit. <sighs> that guy's laughing. She's on the 53. Right. She does not look good for 53. <laughs> That guy, this is the most exciting thing to happen to this elementary school. Yeah, he's pumped. Yeah, Leah. I, <laughs> I did. And then they're like, "Okay, well, we got to call your husband." And she's just like, no, no, I don't want to. I don't want my husband to come pick me up. Or, or then they had to put her in cuffs and take her to jail. Oh my, my goodness! It's re- it's sad. I hope she finds help. But it is that crazy is, body cam footage. What we like watch mm-hmm. now, like it is the damage. It's so public. It's like not. Pri- it's just like you could just release it. I'm so everyone cu- can see it. But I'm, I'm eating it up. But yeah. I'm so curious. The teacher that I busted for drinking. I don't know now? if she ever got arrested. It was never reported. I never heard from that. I don't think you ever get again. arrested for that, do you? You should. Yeah, you, you should. should. If you're in a school on the job around children and you're drunk, yeah, that's pretty bad. I think I know. I know that's get. bad, but like, okay. 
Because you're the adult I'm trying to think in of, charge I'm, of like, No, I know. I'm trying to think of like the, the law. Like what in the law states that like being drunk at work, I think that's just more- There's probably something specific. It's probably not work. It's probably like- Being in charge of like- The safety yeah. of yeah. people. Okay. I think that's where you- I'm not trying to- <laughs> I'm not Dan, trying to- I don't to think ex- what she did is that bad. Her. Yeah, she just wanted to sip. It's just, I just, I just, she I sympathize. I, I sympathize with her. I mean, I, I can see me doing that. Do you think she was a fun teacher? <laughs> Not with that like, haircut. First day of yeah. school, we're watching a movie. <laughs> no. Let's pull up just TikTok. Yeah, Y'all, pizza party today. It's the second day. Oh, uh, when you would party. when you would walk into the room and the lights were out, you were like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I made my own syllabus sangria. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh man, but yeah, that was. No, I'm trying to think like, are there, are the teachers for like young kids like this, are they still like older or are they getting a lot of young teachers now? They're young. They're like 22 or 23 years old. That's wild to me. Like I I don't remember them ever being like that young ever when I was in school. They were always like- I remember my, I had a couple elementary school teachers who were 24. I had a fourth grade teacher who said she was 22, but I don't know if she was lying to me that day about her birthday. But now on my TikTok, people come up like teaching their third grade class and they're 22, 23 years old. I'm like- It's insane. It doesn't make sense because you don't, you always think they're so much older. Yeah. Like with my dance students, they think I'm so much older. They don't know. Like even when I was teaching when I was like 16, they thought I was like 30. Yeah. Cause like you're just taller than them. So like, that's what you think. It breaks my heart though for like, teaching is a tough job. Yeah. And it's so sad. Like a lot of people like dream of becoming a teacher. And when they're so young, they start off doing it and they get burnt out in two years and they go, I don't want to be a teacher it's anymore. Pay, and it's so the, sad because we need teachers. I know the pay, and the pay is just not <sighs> yeah. I cannot anywhere near where it needs to be. Is not, not good. I can't that, believe that's that. a, that's a sense. lot of hours and a lot of just mental stress and that you're, you're dealing, dealing with, with the lives everything. of these students and whatever home they're coming from. You're having to also be like a part-time parental figure. And, and to also them too. that I feel like teacher is somebody you, you do want to make sure you take care of because they're, they're teaching a, a whole the group of gen- kids. Future yeah. Generation. Future gener- all they get, they can literally just do whatever the hell they want. And if they don't get caught, then Oh, yeah, and there's so many like shit teachers that are like just give you worksheets and they don't even get up mm-hmm. and teach you anything. But if they feel like they're being taken care of salary wise, they're gonna love their job and they're gonna want to work a little extra at home to come up with like good work. And mm-hmm. remember that video well, of that like long haired kind of like hippie kid who like yes. called out the teachers, said like, to get him a fucking yeah, packet, yeah, yo. Yeah. Teach. This is the future of this nation. I love the and I'm sorry if I'm yeah, but I'm yeah. trying to make a fucking point. Yeah, yeah, that was, I like that video. That was good. He stuck it to the man. Yeah, <laughs> stuck dude. it to the man. He definitely got he definitely got expelled, but like I think it was worth it. Yeah, standing up. You got to teach. You got to get. You want these kids to want to be here. You got to teach. We come. We want to learn. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, Damn. Dude, that was word by word exactly <laughs> what it said. And then I think that kid showed up in like another viral video years later and he's working like on an oil rig or like on a construction Damn. site really? and he's insulting like another employee and everyone's <laughs> like, this is that kid who wow. called out that no teacher. Way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Damn, that's, sick. that's funny. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, BetterHelp. Do you ever find that just as you're trying to fall asleep, your brain suddenly just won't stop talking? Well, it turns out one great way to make those racing thoughts go away is to talk them through. And therapy gives you a place to do that so you can get out of your negative thought cycles and find some mental and emotional peace. So if you're thinking so if you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online and designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. And it's super simple. All you got to do is fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist. And you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. What I love about BetterHelp is that you could do it from the comfort of your own home. You could be just chilling your bed Mm -hmm. you're talking to somebody that's completely experienced you're not talking to a friend or your parents or your girlfriend or boyfriend it's nice to get that like unbiased opinion from somebody who's who's really there to help you so if you're ready to get a break from your thoughts with better help all you got to do is visit betterhelp.com slash zane and heath today and you're going to get 10 percent off your first month exactly that's betterhelp h-e-l-p.com slash zane and heath thank you so much better help for sponsoring this podcast and helping everybody watching oh have you heard about that uh well you guys should check out that documentary called BS High. I know you, you're talking about it. I, I know I, we'll talk about the next episode, but you guys got to watch it. And for the people listening, it's on HBO Max. It's about this, or Max now, about this uh, fake high school football team that they went down. They dropped the HBO? Uh, yeah, it's just Max now. Why? 
Because hmm. I think, I don't I think Max now owns majority of HBO because it was HBO Wait, Max. What's weird is that there was like HBO and then HBO Max. You had to have like two different subscriptions. It was HBO right? Go. HBO, HBO Go. Go. That's what it was. What and then the when world? they got, and then Cinemax was its own thing. And I'm pretty sure they converged. It was HBO Max and they just wanted it oh, simpler. Oh, Cinemax. That's why. Oh, I, I didn't know I'm that. Hopefully I'm right about that, but I that think it sense, is. Though. Yeah. But, oh, it's such a good documentary. I yeah. love that. I haven't seen a good doc in a while. Hmm. Now this one is grade A, crazy hmm. characters in it. Um, oh, we just celebrated uh, Mariah's, uh, Mariah's birthday the other night. She had a Italian dinner. Yes, oh, I yum. Did. What was on the menu? We had penny vodka. Arancinis. We had chicken cutlets. Chicken we cutlets. Had, yeah, we had rice balls. I made my grandmother's dessert. We had lemon cake, espresso. You know, yeah, lovely. The really the, the chef, the chef he hired was the chef from Coachella. Was so, it the one, that, the one that was in our house? What? So I wanted to do like a little like yeah. I didn't know. Really he funny. told me he actually had plans that day. He canceled his plans to come. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Then he's he really cool. With him. I he know. Did. Yeah, he's really cool. Uh, what did you get, uh, Mariah, for her birthday? Ooh. Uh, a oh. freaking Roomba. A Roomba? I got a Roomba. Uh, Mariah, when he told me he got you a Roomba, I was like, she's going to hate that thing because she loves cleaning. Oh, yeah, like, there's I know, no I way. I took, I took a chore away from her. Exactly. <laughs> you took away one of her favorite <laughs> things. Well, that's too. the first thing I did. I was like, yeah, that's nice that he does a kitchen, but I'm still doing the rug. Like, I'll yeah. still do it myself. But no, the, the Roomba is, oh. Deanie's like, I got a car now. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, know. I want him to hop on it. It is insane. I have dude. a theory. So the Roomba has sensors and cameras, it said. I, I, I saw. I have a theory that the person that created the Roomba has a foot fetish. Just <laughs> taking pictures of toes all day. <laughs> because it's Probably. right at your feet. So I've been wearing shoes around the house. I'm like, this is not. Okay, all because, right. So you let it map out the room, the area. It has to get used to its environment so that you can just say, Hey, go to the, go clean the kitchen. It'll go to the kitchen. Go clean the dining room. It'll do and the dining room. And then it drives room. itself back to the hub. Then it and goes home. Pulls in to go charge. Wow. It's a and little. Then, yeah. And then when it pops up to go back to charge, it goes and it dumps all that stuff into the tank. It goes to the bathroom and oh. empties itself. It makes. And how? And how, like, have you tested it out already throughout <laughs> it's the amazing. floor? Yeah, it's really good. It's really really good. Um, Not it, it vacuums it, but does it also like mop it in a way? They, or? No, they have vacuum. one that does like a mop feature, but it's pretty new, and people said it's not as good as just the vacuum. Uh, about to say she wasn't worth that. Not worth oh, the you mop. couldn't. You couldn't next, splurge. Maybe next year. You couldn't splurge for my thirtieth. <laughs> I don't. Know, I guess he wouldn't want all that moisture up in that. It, like, it, yeah. Yeah, it says maybe. it would go from like tile the carpet and it would know when to stop but I'll, it's kind of mm, yeah it seems a little messy when it does like the room you open the open the app and it created a map of your oh, house oh it's a full blueprint of the what it mapped out wow. and it knew like you can label the rooms but it shows you what they think the rooms are so he got the the kitchen correct he said so this weird. is clearly the kitchen this is the hallway this is the dining room <laughs> it's and making like the SWAT notes yeah like, <laughs> Like. But he had to, the vacuum had to like make its way around the entire house to map it yeah. out, right? Oh, I thought it like already knew that, like it no, was no, able no. to. Get the, I was like, oh, I know. Oh, you have to just walk around. Problem. Wait, we open the box and he's like, got it. <laughs> it, yeah, it, yeah, show, can... it shows an extra room that we don't know about. Oh, yeah. <sighs> a dumb stop. <laughs> That Yo, that man. always freaks me out in movies where like a character's like, this room is shorter than it should be. Hell and they no. realize that yeah. there's, oh man. But yeah, um, I got a Roomba. I also got um, a lemon tree. Mm -hmm. Like you got to go plant it? Yeah. yeah. But Whoa. she won't be happy to have lemons for the next five years. But it's, it's the lemon but tree. But I got yeah, it. You, got you it. can contribute to the landscaping here? Like the landlord? We're, We're going to put it in a, a pot. pot. Oh, oh, perfect. Because this isn't our house. So yeah. we don't want to just like plant it in the ground. We're going to get a nice like little. Italian painted. Why don't you? Why don't you just ask him? I'm sure he'll. Because bit, I want to be coming able, with us. I be able to oh, you want to? Yeah, take it. Okay, and you don't okay. want it to root too deep. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Top shelf olive oil and and, and balsamic, balsamic vinegar. Is that okay. the name of the brand, or is balsamic it just top? No. Oh, balsamic. That's what we're <laughs> Balsamic. <laughs> I went to the place that we usually go to, and you know how they have the stuff on like the yeah. shelves, whatever. I went to the guy working because they had like a top shelf behind the counter, like. Almost like a private like liquor, like where type. 1942 would be. Yeah, yeah. that's where this it was, olive oil was. It was the was. equivalent of that, but for an Italian market. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So I was like, "What do we got up here?" And hey, he's like, give me your top shelf olive oil. It's like all the vanders. He's like, uh, only so he pulls person. it. He pulls it down, and he's telling me about like the the barrel, the casking process, whatever, all yeah. this stuff. Like this has been aged for whatever, and it was like a buying a, a 
a really nice bottle of wine. So I'm going through and like we just picked out like a really nice little Barcelona. Um, and then I got her the Damn. KC lights for her Jeep that run across the top. The old school like circle. Cool. KC lights. It's like Christmas. <laughs> Got multiple gifts here. Is it is it the circle lights that go on the top or is it the side? The, it's, the top. it's the whole light bar across the top that are like. He'll pull it up. Oh, okay. I think I think I know what you're talking. It's hard about. to imagine. Ah, cool. oh, cool. It's like the Goonies. Yeah, it, it makes it, it makes it, it look a little off roadish. Like, yeah. whoa, it's actually KC. Yeah. yeah, it's like the yeah in the beginning of the Goonies. They're that it's like very old school. Yeah, hell oh, that's yeah. Sick. They're is it that call? Is it exactly those? Yeah, the yellow. It's um. Do those only work on Jeeps, or could I get them on my you car? Can, you, you can, can get them on whatever. Um, but I got the the pack that basically, um, it's got the bar that it mounts to, and then it also mounts to um your pillar, so it replaces that, and then the arm goes across that it mounts to. Okay. And then it wires down, uh, into your auxiliary switch, so you can just flick them on from inside. Sick. Oh, sick. Okay. Really cool. I'm so excited. Nice. And this is full circle for me because <clears throat> um, since I was little, I wanted a Jeep. So I was so excited when he got me the Jeep. But we had, I think we've talked about this before. We had the toy Jeep, me and my brother, and it was a it was black and yellow and it had Casey lights on it. Oh, wow. So those exact lights. So I was like, oh, I really like, now I want to, so I said, I want to wrap my car black, which we did. So I was like, I feel like it's just so nostalgic to me. And then he got me the Casey lights. So it's like, that's so I have like pictures and videos of me driving the little toy one. So it's I think it'll be, cool. be cool to like do a what's, side by side. What's the original color of your car? Gray. Oh. It's like that, that new gray. It's like the yeah. dark gray, right? Yeah. Yeah. And Maybe. I got I just got some like nice Italian dishware, like just just really like Mother's Day type gifts, yeah. you know? And Zane got me. T tell I tell him what I got you. I brag. Tell him what I got you. Zane got me the new Dyson straightener. Whoa! The air straight, yo, man. That <laughs> that's I was like, girlfriend. are you serious? <laughs> so I know, thank yeah. You. Oh my! I got gosh, a little help from Danielle. Crazy. I was like, Danielle, I was like, I don't know much how to give Mariah. She's like, well, if I was a girl, I'd really want the Dyson <laughs> air wrap. I was oh, like, it's right, the air wrap. No, I, it... I have the air wrap. He got it's a new one. It's a straightener. So, like, is it like you a have, clamp straightener? Yeah, you yeah. have yeah. wet hair, drenched hair, and you just put it over and it. It does Whoa. It immediately. Yeah. Pretty cool. Remember the cheese straighteners? Remember when those were really big? Yeah, of course. Yeah. What? C -H -I. The C -H -I, like you, cheese. You see, they have like hairspray oh, and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the chi if you had the cheese straightener in high school, you were, you were rich. Yeah. My the mom had the, like, the blue turquoise one. I had, had Conair. Oh, oh my, wait. It like, call, like the, the strip of color that it'll do? No, no, no. It's a, this is just a straightener. It's oh. just the brand. Oh, you're thinking about that bead thing that went. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, the oh, quick wrap from Conair, yeah. and that shit would just tear yeah. your hair off. I wanted to yes. put one of those in my hair so bad. Oh yeah, because the commercials would make it look like it was just so easy. easy. And it had like that arm that was out. It would like yeah. grab and then this thing and it would like spin around the edge. Oh Damn, that thing gosh. looks sick. I had a Conair straightener that was like 0.5 ounces. Like it weighed nothing and it was just a slab of metal. It oh barely heat up. It was like yeah. eighty five degrees. It did not. It, it. Someone had to have like sued. That's why that you don't see those anymore. Somebody's hair got caught in that. Shit. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, sure, big time. I can also see those like exploding. It just like overheating very quickly and just. Psh. I get to see it knotting somebody's hair permanently. Like <laughs> you can't yeah. get it out. Matt, you have a Dyson Connect. I'm, um, I'm like racking it in right now. I used to. Yeah, I, got, I, I did. He like, got me. I got the vacuum. I got the air wrap. I got the straightener. We got the fan. We got the, we yeah, got I did huge, an ad for the pool and the you Dyson. You guys know any good fans? Oh, Dyson. I need. I need to get a good fan. I wanna, Dyson we have is cool. I know. I want it to be a hurricane in my room. They do. Okay. They do bigger. So the one that we have is just a small one that we used for Dean, right? And then mm -hmm. we ended up keeping it. Yeah. They make really big ones for like the corner of your room, and they are. It's like. It's it, like. Antarctica. Okay, you know there's some fans that like bl you can feel that it's blowing just the air that's there. Yeah, it's like circulating. That's the one air. I have right now. This one, I need something one, that's like fresh. The one we have fresh filters air. it, so it's filtering. Did the you air. have you opened it up and looked at the filter? No, no, not yet. Yo, the filter's wrapped in plastic. No, I saw a TikTok. Wait, there's of a lot of buy, there's a lot of shit that actually comes. No, with the, the, the video people are like, wait, hold on, and they open up their Dyson Pure Cool, wait, and the filter's to, wrapped in plastic. You have to undo. We're the, supposed to undo it. I'm curious if you, you can bring it in that. here to see. Hopefully, it's not wrapped in plastic. <laughs> that could catch 
fire. We had it at 100 degrees at one point. <laughs> yeah, it, it's probably melted. Oh, you have the heat and the cool? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm curious if like the base There's is- There's no way. I think they would take that off. Bring it in for the reveal though. Don't check it. it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Aww. Oh, the one that was- Okay. Yeah. That I was using. Let's see. If the plastic um, is still on it. This looks like a Dyson brand deal. Hey, All right, guys, so now we're gonna di Dyson. we're gonna dissect the Dyson <gasps> do you, fan. Do you know where it would be? Oh, right here. And then lift up. Push that button. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you're good. No plastic. Oh. You're good. I think you're oh good. man, I almost had a heart attack. I guess the one I have. Use only Dyson filters, but where's the filter? Is there no filter? I think you don't. You have to buy a filter to put around it. Yeah. Oh, I think you need to get the filter to like it's put separate. around it. Maybe mine is like this purple thing. I take out and like I put in a new one. Just give it one filter in. Show That's me what weird. It, looks it like. came without the. Well, filter. I mean, I I could see why. I could see why they do that. Ah, it's in here. Oh. oh. Wow. <laughs> Is there plastic on it? Dan, that's actually genius. Yeah, subtle. Okay. Oh, gorgeous. We're good. Wait, Dean would love that actually. <laughs> Just put him inside of it. <laughs> yeah. That's the best filter I've ever seen in any product. I was watching this clip of Bad Baby, remember? Yeah. Bad Baby. Bad Baby. She was uh, she was doing an interview and she oh. was uh, she was talking about how she just found out her and her mom like aren't good anymore. Mm -hmm. And she, she found out that her entire life, when she was little, she found out that her mom was in contact with Dr. Phil for a oh, long right. time. I saw her huh? post this. For a long time, in contact with Dr. Phil. She's been trying to get them on the to show. To get them on the show for years. Was she like purposefully corrupting them as bad kids to get that, them? I wouldn't be surprised. Parents are fucking crazy. Her They're mom, so- her mom is a nut. Whoa, that is. That's that, like, that's crazy. So Messed she was up. trying to get her on the show for that long. For years. Like yeah. they, were, they, they were in contact for a very, very long time. She's like, still keep acting up, keep acting up. Yeah. And just, oh, that's nasty, man. Wow. We need to have her on the pod. Yeah, I think I really do. And, and then Lil Tay. And, family reunion. And, oh, and, and, and Lil Tay too, back from the dead. <gasps> Dude, what the? <laughs> we'll have her for our spooky episode in October. Ooh, Ooh, we got the ghost of Lil Tay. <laughs> she is risen. Thank <laughs> good. I wish then it's we crazy. dove we deeper. Because like in the beginning, we were so sensitive about it. Like, oh no, it was, she it, might we actually We did that episode dead. like an hour after finding out. Yeah. yeah. Ugh. Well, we did say in the episode, I, I said, I was Something's like, I wouldn't be surprised funny. if it was her brother posting or somebody yeah. posting or if it's a publicity stunt. Yo, it's a good thing we were true because if she would have actually been dead. <laughs> yeah, we would have to delete the whole episode. <laughs> it would have been like, because that got posted like way days but, later. I mean, look, we were questioning it because it was very questionable. Everything about it was very questionable, but it was still yeah. sad if it was true, you know? But that's it. That's all. Like that's the latest that we found out, right? That post was, yeah, that was not it. real, and that was it. And then gone again. For all we know, she's in like a foster care system. Like she, for, we don't. How know. about how? Like she should make like a quick ten video, a ten second video. I'm okay. Like something. Well, it's that's just, what I'm saying. I said for all we know, she could be in the foster. Like she could have gotten taken away from her parents, and she's probably she could be somewhere else, and we don't know. Uh, yeah. I think they're plotting just like, a I think bigger. The, I think the, TV I really show. just think the brother and the mom are completely behind it, and they just think like the attention is really fun. Yeah. Imagine a mm. show, Bad Baby, Will Vicky, Lil Tay. Oh, I love them. Good names. Give, give them a reality TV Bad show. Bad Baby would good never names. do it. Yeah, she's, she like was, too, yeah. she's like too cool. She's like she, too she's, good. She has gotten cooler. Yeah, she's like cool. And her songs. They're so good. Boy, so good. Is so she good. still putting out new so stuff? So underrated. I haven't heard something new in a um, while. Yeah, no, I haven't heard anything new either. But I feel like she could easily get back into it. Especially since she's getting older, her voice is like getting a little bit more mature. I feel like Does she, she get... sing <laughs> like what? No, but like they're fun songs. Like she has a good beat. Yeah. She has a good, very, very like. Did you see the video of Adele doing her concert? And then that one fan was like standing up with like the selfie stick no. recording it. And like, so at Adele's concerts, uh, you know, obviously it's a very like ritzy kind of time right. and yeah uh, it very it's very elegant i feel yeah like. and i think a lot of people there and during her concerts tend to like sit and yeah. this die hard adele fan went Ooh, and he was that. standing throughout all of it and he had this i think like a selfie cam thing and he, so he's filming it's one of those like 360 ones that's oh. filming forward filming back oh how could you and even he's enjoy just watching like, that he's after. enjoying all of it Where i know this? right oh wait hold on i think i saw a clip of it but i actually just i just skipped it so it was a 360 people are coming the... like a woman comes up to me and goes everybody behind you is upset who stop uh because he was like standing up or whatever where was he and, sitting where uh was he? i think 
think he was almost like halfway. You know, there's like the first section and then there's like the area where she walks. Oh, so it's not even like he was in the nosebleeds or something. He yeah. was, in he was the standing front. up. You oh. know, if you're that big of a fan or whatever, but a woman who was like there comes up and just like everyone's upset and then security comes over and is like, hey, blah, blah, blah. And Adele starts her new song and she goes, she finally calls out to the fan. She goes, "You." she's like, you can stand, darling. It's totally fine. And he's like, oh my God, she just talked to me. And then security starts coming up to this kid. It's like, okay, listen, but you need to calm down, blah, 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 blah. And Adele then just, uh, yeah, play it. Stand. Stand. So these security guards are who are like up uh, or talking to him. They start realizing that Adele has stopped the show and is calling out the secure or like oh, the security man. guards going, leave this fan alone. Yeah. And they immediately are like, oh my gosh. And then just like run away from the kid. Side note, I love that hairstyle on her. Love. Yeah, she, she's looking real I good. I want to try, try to do that. Um, okay. I told, uh, okay. I love that Adele did that and protected him because yes, you have free range to do whatever you want, but like I was think about to of say others the same for thing. a second. I was gonna say I, the same I, thing. No matter how big of a fan I would be, I would think of other people around me. Everyone there is trying to enjoy it. Everyone there is a big fan. Yeah. If you are towards the front of the stage, you don't need to be doing, I don't know. I, I think if I there's if there's multiple people being bothered by you being in front of them and you're not doing what everybody else is doing, you gotta be, you I can be. see, I can see uh, why they'd be annoyed or why I'd want them to sit down. I totally get that. Adele has a little power here. When she said that, I'm sure everybody was just like, oh shit, okay, we're gonna yeah. have to deal with it. But he probably stuck that, that thing up even higher. Oh, yeah, right? this, this, yeah, you probably. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a full tell us you're all right. Yeah. Just like have some self aware. Have yeah. aware. Yeah, it's, be, it's the awareness. Like, I don't know. And I, I just, think selfie sticks aren't allowed in the it doesn't place. Seem like they should be. Yeah. And yeah, that's why like selfie sticks are I'm not, banned. I'm not making fun of him for being a huge fan. Like do your thing, but like be aware of the people around you. Yeah. Right. Let everybody's there to enjoy it. Like I, I just think it was just badass of Adele to just be like, cut, let cut, him yeah. do what he cut wants. Cut to me holding up the person in the wheelchair at the 21 votes. Yeah. That respect. <laughs> what are your thoughts about tall people at concerts? Cause anytime I'm on the floor at a concert, usually I'm also with my friends. I want to yeah. stand with my friends and wherever my friends want to stand, I, I mean, want to be there. That's something you I can't had, control. Yeah, though. you can't control so that. Many, but I've yeah. had so many people being like, ah. I'm yeah, like, I'm I mean, sorry I made course, this way. Yes, that yes, it's frustrating, but I would never complain because that's something you can't control. Yeah, that's like- You so, that's can't be mad at that person. You could be annoyed. So like, I'm, I'm, oh damn, I, I, that's, it, my bat's bad luck. If you're on stilts, I'd be like, hey, asshole, get <laughs> yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. What, are you, what are you gonna chop your legs off? You're gonna right. go Yeah, on you got a bone saw. That's, that's a actually, silly. actually a really good idea if you're gonna get floor, like pit seats. <laughs> <laughs> Stilts. Do the, do the, uh, yeah. the shoulder, like, the shoulder. Yeah, yeah. not yeah. like not crazy, like Sti casual stilts, like painting stilts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, give me but, like seven inches. Yeah, so not, those. Not I'll tilt your foot straight down. You know, you get that point. Yeah, it's not. But a you bad can like idea. tell when someone is a little taller yeah, than yeah. they should be because they're it just dumb. Dumb. Their, their torso's here, but the legs. Are <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it like just don't make sense. Uh, but that's happened so many times to me. People be like, uh, so you many. Do the do the little rascals. What? Where you're like, the trench coat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just here to see a doll. <laughs> what were they doing? They were trying to get a loan at the bank. Yeah, something uh. like that. <laughs> I love that clip of like gold member, <laughs> like him and Minnie Me. He's like, oh, we, we need one of us to get on the other person's yeah. shoulders. Yeah. So he goes on Minnie Me's. I, and I he's love like, the shape that it created, this triangle, yeah. just cartoon animated shape. <laughs> so good. Just this. <laughs> I'm thinking about costumes of what everyone's gonna be for like Halloween, Halloween yeah. this year. That was a good one, but like I've, I, I think I've actually seen so many people do that. This is a good costume, Adele and the guy with the selfie stick. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Mariah. <laughs> That's a huge thing now, right? Like me, like me, like, like, like cultural this. moments. Yeah. 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 Definitely, <laughs> but you have to explain it the whole time you arrive to a Halloween party. Just be like, get it, we're Adele. Have you, yeah. have you seen it? <laughs> oh, you. I think I would feel better if he didn't have the selfie stick. If you're up standing, screaming, singing your heart out, and yeah. it's, you're in the moment and you feel like you're there alone with Adele, do it. But something about doing a 360 video, it's, a yeah. little much. it's like, 
you're trying to get your own re like what do you what do I, it I, made for a really good video I, I, a little, though a like, little, uh, for me it's like the why do you get to why do you get to get this whole venue and this whole moment right. but we can't so mm. you know it's like <laughs> i want or have you ever how been about, at a concert and i'm not one to scream the lyrics so much to where people around me can't hear it but i've had i've been at concerts sometimes and i know the fucking songs like better than the people around me and they're yeah. like they'll get mad that i'm just enjoying yeah, yeah, yeah. it it's like yeah. I'm sorry. I'm a big fan of <laughs> yeah. this person. Clearly, you're not. Fuck just off. don't do it at Lord's uh, concert. Because she'll shush. And, and also, <gasps> when everybody go on mute, better be on mute. She does that. No, 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 no. Wait, <laughs> the, 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 how did nobody catch oh, that? I I've heard about that. There's Beyonce like a million does. TikToks of Beyonce, like uh, Beyonce's concert, and she'll, there's a there's a part of the song. I don't know what song it is. I just keep seeing on TikTok where she's like, everybody on mute. And the entire stadium Quiet. has wow. to be silent for that's like a good cool. that, that five reminds seconds. Me of like, if you hear my voice clap once. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. You my, but then you'll have like, you'll literally hear, there'll be one or two people that are just like, ah, and everybody's heads uh, will turn. Yeah. 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 Just do it. Come on. Carrie Styles does that. There's like, when he does the, uh, leave America to kids. And when he performs in, the UK, everyone screams, leave America. And then they when don't, he's in America. But when oh. he's in America, everyone goes silent for that line. Yeah. Cause oh. they don't want him to leave America. Oh. I wonder if the very, very first show, like did people catch that? Like right. did people or catch that? Plan? Like, yeah. Or yeah. did she say it before? Like, hey, when I say like the mute part, like uh, uh, hardcore fans would, though, would before the show will then go hand out stuff to people like right. letting them know. Like oh, there's really? Facebook groups. Yeah. Like when I was at the Harry Styles one, there were fans that were giving out like, uh, like little confetti things to put on your light. Like it was like green oh, or like right, blue right, and yeah. pink. And they're like during, and it was like on the, the little, Cheat. It was like during this song, please do this or whatever. Also, oh, so, so the stadium didn't even plan that. It was fans that usually like, fans would go around to oh, plan that to get sick. Harry yeah. to be like, "Whoa!" I like that. Or like the Justin Bieber concert, somebody handed out like hearts to all hold up at the same time, and he was like so in shock. I think it said like we never left because it was when he came back, uh, like touring, and they were like we never left or something like that, and he was like to get that many people like and and on a surprise it, like that yeah. is pretty. Yeah. That's really cool. That's how the world should be, you know? Oh, dude, I gotta show you, I got a new toy. Did you really? Yeah. New toy. Thermals. Thermal goggles? Wait. Thermal vision. No, Wait, you, you already... did not. Wait, the the night vision ones? No, it's thermal, so it's-, it's uh, Oh! Uh, so heat. It, it, it's heat, so I can see your entire heat. Can you see like my genitals? Everything. Wait, can you see how like, oh, wait, it's... if I'm hotter, if I'm fit, like- I can yeah. see like the hottest parts so on your body. And if when, you- when, if, Yeah, when we were looking at Jordan, he would like put his hands on his pants and then take them away, and you could see his handprint. The hand wow, still on it. that's and then he sick. Was, so I bet Zane is like all red. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. I'm fire hydrant red. Yeah, I could see his uh, phone through his pants because it was hotter. Whoa, Jeez, that's crazy. It's pretty sick. Bring it in here. I bet every. I bet it's really hot. Oh in here. god, it, that thing reading off the. Okay, so go, go to my bedroom. <laughs> Joanne, can you grab it? <laughs> Steamy in there. Is your bedroom yeah. been hot? It just my room just like doesn't like to work. Um, but it's it's pretty cool because you get the uh you get different colorways that you can do it in. So you could get like white hot, black hot, um color no, red I, hot. I want red hot. Yeah. I want blue red hot. I wonder Whoa. if you can hold it up to the camera and they can see. Oh, I'm sure you could. Also, it it so it records video too, so I can film yeah. in that. It look like a Brockhampton video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, cool. Can I see? Yeah, of course. Last night I walked out into the street and I was just looking at the cars and stuff. Dude, every it looks like a video game. It's really cool. Can you see me? Am I? I, I think. Why don't you just put the video on the? We can, I, but I, I just want to see. Like, I bet. I don't. Look here, I think the depth of it can yeah. get that. Wow. Whoa. 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 <laughs> uh, Zane, you make an OnlyFans, but it's just thermal. Yeah, yeah I'll do it. <laughs> Could be cool. It's pretty crazy. All right, show Zane. Yeah, Zane, what are you boiling? Yeah, look. Hold on, let me change the colorway on it. I want you to see. He wants to do the. Do you color. see my? Do you see my junk? I should. Wow, dude, your peach is lit up. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm real hot down there. Whoa, Matt. Am I? That How hot am I? Boiling. Check his rosacea. Stop. Check his rosacea. <laughs> are you breaking out? That's crazy. If I had a, if I had a cold story, would you see it? Would it like Maybe. burn? Would it, <laughs> that's cr like is it emitting like a frequency? Oh! Like how does the science of that even I don't work? Know. 
It's oh, like magic. Matt. Oh, you are. Is, what about like under my hat? Is then that hot or? Uh, wow. Zane, look at this. Oh, like, Mariah, your under carriage is real hot. <laughs> how about my knee? Check my knee. Ready? Yeah. Wow. Look at That's this. sick. Look at this. That's insane. That's I don't insane. understand let me, how let me, that works. change the color on it so you can see. Oh, do give him the black and white one. That one's crazy. Let me see. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. He gives that's, my, that's my favorite. Wait, Matt, show him. Like, rub your pants. Oh, that's the. That's definitely the cool. Look at his one. pants. Look at his pants. Oh, it's black. Oh wow. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Matt, look at my junk. <laughs> at, oh my god! It's just like it looks like you have a glow stick in your crotch, <laughs> Matt, and it's press, just press that. Uh, there's three buttons on the top. Press the front one. Is it cycling? Oh yes, yes, yes. Oh look at my go. look at my smoke. Wait. Oh, cool. Oh, you can kind of hardly see it. It's like, or I guess it goes in front of your face. I guess it's not hot. Well, because it's like yeah. smoke, I guess. Wow. Cycle through the colors. You, there's a, there's like four options. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can you see this? Yeah, because I see your nipples too. Oh, <laughs> I see your <laughs> Wow. This is my butthole right now. We should make a nair video on thermals. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, when it's like sizzling, your hair's off. Uh, get move the off. cap; it's kind of covering a little bit. There you go. I'm sweating. Um, and you could turn all the lights off in like pitch black, and it does the same thing. That's, it doesn't need any light. Oh wow, that is sick. Well, thank you for thank you for your little show and tell. Yeah, I wish I had something. You know, I'll, I'll try to bring in something next episode. All right, guys. Uh, make sure to check out Cremota Coffee, Cremota.com. We've got bag coffee, different uh, flavors. We've got K-Cups. We've got matcha. we got it all. Again, Cremota.com to get it. We also have a Patreon, patreon.com slash Zane Heath, where you can get bonus episodes. You can get unwind episodes. The unwind is where we keep the cameras rolling right after each episode, and we just keep it going. I think Matt has a little gift for us, so he's going to present that gift to us on the unwind. So that's some of the things that we like to do in the unwind. Um, we also have a private Discord. We have high and drunk episodes, and we also just have like, like, you know, just like weekly updates and stuff. And um, what else do we got on there? Am I missing anything? And, and you, you can get, get all, all ad that free. for an ad free. You get all that for $5 a month. And once you pay, you get everything that we've ever posted. Mm -hmm. Once you pay. All right. Well, we're going to jump into the unwind. Uh, we'll see you soon, Patreon. We love you so much. Ciao. And see you next week. Bye. Peace. What is that?